Oh, hello there, sir. Yes, here we are again. Yes, uh, uh, I'm, uh, am I in trouble? Uh, um, there's been an incident. Uh, where was the incident, sir? Uh, on the board with the Klingon Empire? Oh, right. Okay, sir. Well, it was nothing to do with me. I, I can assure you, I, I, I haven't done anything. It, it, it was who, sir? My ship. My ship was involved in this incident. Ah, oh, right, sir. Uh, uh, well, I, I, I know nothing about it, sir. Um, when, when did this happen? Started. Oh, yeah, right. I remember, sir. Yes. Uh, well, my number one was in charge at the time. It was uh, Ensign Knocker, uh, who, who we affectionately uh, relate to as uh, Mr. Mr. Potato Head, sir. Mr. Potato Head. Um, and um, what, what, what was the incident? We're, we've actually, we're actually at war with the Klingon Empire. Uh, ah, I see. Um, right, sir. Well, uh, that sounds quite serious. Um, if you want to leave the matter with me, I, I, I'll, I'll look into it uh, uh, and, and get back to you, sir. Thank you. What, what was there? Anything else, sir? Anything else? Uh, get out. Right. Okay, sir. Right. Well, thank you. Right. right. Here we go. Well, it uh, would appear that. Um, I'm in trouble again, but this time it's it's not me. It's uh, Ensign Knocker, A.K.A. Mr. Potato Head. I'm not surprised. Um, hmm. I'll have to have words. So uh, yeah, see you in just a few minutes. I was ill-equipped to thank you, but as myself, you have my everlasting gratitude. Q. Ah. If the continuums told you once, they told you a thousand times. Don't provoke the Borg! Sacrificing yourself for these humans? Do I detect, uh, selfless act? I've learned my lesson, Q. Q? How did you find me? Never mind that. What are you doing with that dog? I'm not talking about the puppy. If you think I tormented you in the past, my little friends, wait until you see what I do with you now. And greetings, everybody, and welcome to another Jester Reviews. And today, we're going to be looking at the legendary Command Exploration Cruiser, T6X. Now, this ship is part of the 10th Anniversary Bundle. I personally think that the 10th anniversary bundle is one of the yeah, better bundles to pick up. Um, but that that's just me. That's just me. You may have your own opinion on that. But, uh, you know, if you do get the chance to pick it up, I do think this is a, a really good bundle. And uh, looking at this ship, yeah, I really do like her. She definitely has the uh, next generation feel about her, doesn't she? She's uh, definitely related to the Galaxy class designs. Almost definitely, yeah. I do like her. Right, so let's have a look at the build, shall we? Okay, so let's have a quick look at the build, shall we? Um, very briefly, it, this this ship is four weapons to the front and four weapons to the rear. Uh, on the front, I have four dual beam banks. Um, one of them, be, uh, sorry, three of them being uh, pulse phaser dual beam banks, and one of them is the phaser wide angle heavy beam bank, and that gives us a plus two percent bonus all damage, and you can acquire that from the discovery reputations tab, um, along with the dark matter quantum torpedo, and uh, the lockers tactical fire custom control <laughs> console which i'm not actually using on this build today but uh, and if you want to know where they are let's have a quick look uh, here they are he says they should be here oh here they are look so there is your tactical locus custom fire control console you get your disruptor and phaser variant and you get the dark matter quantum torpedo 
a really really good set that and i would highly recommend them all right so uh going back to the build uh the deflector is the elite fleet intervention protomatter deflector the impulse engines is the prevailing innovated impulse engines Warp core and shields are part of the discovery set and we've got the my serial my serial <laughs> harmonic antimatter core and the Tilly's review pending modified shield and that is also part of the discoveries repetition tab set um, in the rear we've already looked at the dark matter quantum torpedo which again is giving us another two percent bonus all damage I'm using a trilithium enhanced omnidirectional phaser beam and I'm using an omnidirectional pulse phaser beam and finally I'm using the Terran task force phaser beam array and that gives another plus two percent bonus all damage and that is another excellent piece of kit and you can get that through the Terran reputations tab let's see if I can find that for you it's down here somewhere so you get uh, a phaser variant and he says doing it the wrong way around a phaser variant and a disruptor variant and these are also really good pieces of the kit I highly recommend them and the cost of these is 15,000 energy credits 7,500 dilithium two Terran gravimetric inducers and 250 Terran marks so yeah really good piece of kit that that's another one I would highly recommend for your build now I'm not going to go into the rest of this build obviously I'm trying to keep the time of our uh, reviews down but if there's any information you want regarding uh, this build please let me know below and uh, I'll help you out so moving on to the masteries tier one we have 25 percent physical and kinetic damage resistance rating absorptive hull plating tier two is rapid repairs uh, regenerates 1843.8 hull that's 1.25 percent of your current maximum every three seconds in space twice this amount is regenerated out of combat tier three we have plus 25 energy and radiation damage resistance rating and this is enhanced hull plating tier 4 we have armored hull which gives you plus 10 percent hull hit points now the trait explosive polarity shift now this is an interesting one i've tried to get my head around this one quite a few times but um, i'm still not there yet but here we go when reverse shield polarity duration ends, you get 5,771.4 kinetic damage. That's 100% shield penetration. And that's to fold within 3 kilometers. And the damage is increased by 5% per stack of polarity shift. When damaged while reverse shield polarity is active, you apply one stack of polarity shift maximum once per 0.5 seconds uh, now the sixth trait is make it so I quite like the sound of that um, captain abilities grant plus 1.5 percent healing and damage for 30 seconds per rank of each bridge officer ability affecting the ship ensign abilities grant 1.5 percent lieutenant double lieutenant command triple and commander quadruple mm. now i've still i haven't unlocked this yet um i've still got a little ways to go but um i may try this this trait out um when i unlock it anyhow now there is one interesting little um console which um not keen on but i thought i'd try it out for you it's the source of separation and uh, what we'll do is we'll give that a go now shall we so you can see the effect of that so i don't think i'm going to be using it in combat to be honest with you so let's have a look see how that works there we go so does she do anything else or do we have to move if we move there we go
Oh, there she goes, look. So, let's uh, see what happens when we try to bring her back. Oh, there she goes. Look. Excellent. There we go. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to try that um, when we uh, take the ship out. But I might, I might do. I might do. I'll, I'll think about it. I'm, I might give it a go. I might give it a go. There you go. So, let's now go to the ship's tailor and uh, have a look at the other skins that come with this ship. So here we are, the ship's tailor, and these are the skins which are available to us. The Andromeda, Cygnus Mirror, the Galaxy Class. I do actually like that design, you know. I might actually stick with that one. I do actually like this design. Yeah, I think I will actually. I think I'll stick with that one. But uh, anyhow, moving on. Andromeda Mirror. Cygnus. Uh, Monarch. Yes, I'm not keen on that one. That looks a bit, uh, looks very clunky, doesn't it? Not, not keen on that at all. I wonder if it, wonder if it looks better with a different colour on it. Hmm. No, not keen on the monarch. Um, Venture. Oh, that looks, that looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, I do like that. Oh yes, I do like that one. Yes, that's that's nice. Ross. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the venture. That looks quite cool, that doesn't it? Anyway, moving on. Settle down. Uh, Galaxy Mirror. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to stick with the venture. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, okay, so the bridge. I have actually purchased the Galaxy Class bridge that comes with this ship. And we'll go up and have a quick look at that as well. So I do quite like that and... Uh, you also get the um, captain's ready room, the conference room, engineering, some hollow decks, and uh, the medical bay. So we'll we'll have a look at that when uh, when we're finished here. In the advanced section, as you can see, there's quite a lot of variation here that you can uh, kit bash this ship with. Um, so let's randomise a few things for you. There we go. It's got the Andromeda, Venture, Galaxy, Monarchs, and Cygnus. Bits and pieces to it. Do another one. Yeah, that's a cool design, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not liking that one. Hmm. Do a couple more. There is quite a lot of uh, variation though that you can use when you uh, colour fudge this ship. You can put all sorts of things together with it and just make it how you want to make it for yourselves. That's quite nice. That's quite a nice look, isn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a cool little uh, design. So there you go. Right, so I'll stick with the Venture, but as you can see, there is quite a lot of variations on the theme that you can explore if you get uh, 
tired of looking at the same old ship. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll go to the bridge, have a look round. I need to discuss some issues actually with Mr. Potato Head. So uh, yes, and uh, then we'll have a quick look round the ship so you can see what you get with the Galaxy 2368 bridge if you decide to uh, purchase that interior. So here we are in the captain's ready room, which you'll recognize from the next generation ready room of Captain Picard. It even has the fishbowl there. Look at that. I don't think it's alive though, looking at that. It's not moving, is it? No. No, it's not moving at all. Um, yeah, so this is a little room where the captain can. Uh, can rest. Oh, and there's a picture of the uh, Enterprise, the Galaxy class next generation Enterprise. Isn't that cool? Really cool. Right, so let's have a wonder over here. What can we access here? Have a quick look. So we have access to the bank accounts, library files, and duty officers. Excellent. Oh, before I forget, uh, Bridge. Uh, can you ask uh, Mr. Potato Head to come in, please? I need to speak to him. Thank you. Ah, uh, Mr. Potato Head, thank you for coming in to uh, see me. As you know, we're at Red Alerts. Apparently, the Klingons have turned up. Now, uh, Admiral Quinn has expressed some concerns to me uh, about an incident, uh, which um, you're aware of it. Ah, right, excellent. So, would you mind explaining to me why we are now at war with the Klingons? What what was going on? You was you was what? You was taking advantage of a, of a what? Of an opportunity. What kind of an opportunity? You wanted to sell the Klingons hair dryers. Uh, yeah. Please don't play with your triple. It's most off-putting. So as we were saying, hair dryers, which you bought from Quark on Deep Space Nine. Right. I'm not liking the way this is going actually. But anyway, carry on. So what happened with these hair dryers? They turned out to be blow lamps. Blow, you mean the, the type that set on fire? For welding metal. I see. And how many of these hair dryers did you sell to the Klingons? 40,000 batches. 40,000 batches. So why has this all turned out some Klingons have been burnt? You've set the hairs on fire. Anyway, okay, carry on. What, so what happened next? You entered into negotiations. And how did they... How did the negotiations go? Not very well. Right, well... Well, I'm good... <laughs> What can I say? Um, I've got to sort this out now. Um, so, well, leave it with me. Return, return to your post, uh, Mr. Potato Head. I'll, I'll have to sort this out. I mean, Admiral Quinn, he's not pleased at all. But um, anyhow, dismissed. Leave it with me. I'll uh, meet you on the bridge. Well, it looks like that didn't go down well at all, did it? So, uh, let's go back on the bridge and see what's happening. Bridge, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, number one, what's happening? Nothing. The Klingons, we were at red alert. What happened? They fired at us and moved off. Do we know where they are now? They've gone. Excellent. Right. Well, while I'm here, let me just go through some of the stats for this ship, shall we? At level 65, the legendary Ross Command Exploration Cruiser will give you a hull of 69,750. She has a hull modifier of 1.5 and a shield modifier of 1.05. She has a turn rate of 6. She has a bonus power of plus 5 all power levels. And her bridge officer seating is as follows. We have a Lieutenant Commander Tactical. We have a Commander Engineering Command Station. We have a Lieutenant Commander Engineering and a Lieutenant Science Stroke Command Station with an Ensign Universal. Her weapons consist of four to the front and four to the rear with four device slots. Her consoles are three tactical, five engineering 
and three science. Her abilities include the molecular cohesion nullifier field, saucer separation, antimatter spread, weapon systems efficiency, shield frequency modulation, static maneuvering, attract fire and inspiration abilities. And for all you out there who collect Admiralty cards, with this ship you get 65 engineering, 30 tactical and 22 science. Okay, so uh, for those of you who haven't uh, seen this bridge uh, package before, um, I'll take you around very quickly and uh, show you actually get what you actually get for your money. So first of all, we'll start with the conference room. Oh, very smart, very smart there, so carry on. Uh, start with the conference room. There you go. Very reminiscent of uh, the next generation's conference room where Captain Picard used to sit down there, didn't he? Excellent. And, uh, what? sorry, Bridge, what was that? Mr. Potato Head, like to come and speak to me. <sighs> right, okay, send him in. Mr. Potato Head, what can I do for you? You, you, you? You'd like to rectify this problem. Right, right, I'm all ears, I'm all ears. What, what, what? You'd like to offer the Klingons a discount. No, a, a discount on what? On, on hair pieces. To replace the ones that have been burnt off with your hair dryer. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea, Mr. 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 P. I'm not sure that's a good idea. You'd offer them a discount on the hair pieces. I, I, I think we'd be at war with them for a lot longer if I allowed you to do that. You, 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 you what? You, you've already, you've already ordered the hair pieces from Quarks. You're at it again. Will you stop playing with your tribble? This is serious. I, I just don't know what to say. Where, where are they? In, in, in where? In your quarters. Well, I don't want you conducting any further business with anybody. What do you mean you've got something lined up with the Romulan Star Empire? Well, I don't want you doing anything with the Romulan Star Empire. Thank you very much. Because I don't want to be at war with them. Um, I've, I've, the Admiral's furious. The Admiral's furious. Admiral Quinn is absolutely furious. And uh, we're going to have to sort this mess out. So if I were you, I don't want, I'm, I'm forbidding you from selling anything else again to, to anybody. So if you don't mind... Return to your duties and concentrate more on them rather than selling things. Oh, just dismiss, dismiss. Goodness sake. I'm not joking. That man is driving me up the wall. Right. So let's go around and have a quick look at what you're getting for your money with this uh, bridge package. Uh, number one. Before I go, um, Mr. Potato Head has ordered some hair pieces. Yes, you've heard me correctly. Hair pieces. And... Um, Yes, he's intended to try and sell them to the Klingon Empire. Um, he's also got something for sale to the Romulan uh, Star Empire. Uh, what I'd like you to do is, if he makes any attempt to contact either party, I would like him phasered, please, if you don't mind. Uh, not not stun, not stun. <laughs> well, yeah, you better do, won't you? Yeah, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Yeah, uh, with extreme prejudice, if you don't mind, phaser him with extreme prejudice. Keep a Keep an eye on him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, carry on. Uh, Mr. Potato, just think on what we spoke about. No more buying and selling, you know. Otherwise, uh, me and you are going to fall out. So carry on. Right, so let's go have a quick look round ship. So first of all, we will go to Deck 8, Captain's Quarters and Sick Bay. Here we are. Where's my quarters? Ah, here they are. Captain's quarters. Yep. Yep, they are very similar to Captain Picard's quarters, if not the same. Excellent. Right, let's go for, try and find Sick Bay. Ah, here we are. Sick Bay. Dr. Crusher's office. Oh, Dr. Crusher, of course. That'd be that'd be quite a cool idea, wouldn't it? Put Dr. Crusher in here, um, you know, as a as as, as a, like a duty officer that you can go to. 
something reminiscent of the original um, next generation that'd be quite a cool idea and why I haven't done that very similar to this chap here but it could be Dr Crusher couldn't it talk to Doctor let's have a look alright so we get various bits and bobs here that we can do why wouldn't it do it assemble hypo pack oh there we go there we go so we'll assemble a hypo pack carry on doctor carry on right so we'll go off to well we can't get off there right so let's try and find the turbo down here oh there it is So now we'll go to deck 10, hollow deck and 10 forward. So here we are, deck 10. Right, where to go? Ah, oh, here we are, 10 forward. Ah, excellent. Where's, do you just stand on the furniture there? Ah, bartender. Uh, I'll have uh, something that's green, please. What have you got? Um, oh, hit the wrong button. Um, show me the menu. There we go. Let's have a look what's green here. Ferengi snail juice. No, I'm going to keep that. Prune juice. Oh, well, that's not very good, is it? I wanted something that was green. Anyway, carry on. Carry on. Right, so let's. Uh, thank you. Uh, down here. Oh, holodex. Really cool, isn't it? Be cool if you could use them. And this is, is this holodex one or holodex two? Oh, there you go. That's really cool, that huh, isn't it? And I've no idea where I'm going from here. What's in here? Oh, nothing. You can't get into there. Ah, turbo lift. Right, okay. Let's go to deck 36, engineering. So here we are, engineering. Excellent. Look at this. That's really cool, isn't it? What's through these doors here? Can't get nothing there. Nothing there. All right. Okay. All ah, right. Yes, this is cool, isn't it? This is uh, exactly how I remember the next generation's engineering section. Operations officer. Hello there, operation. Now this would be good if we had Jordy there, wouldn't it? Operations officer. Special projects. Performance of Hamlet. Yeah, I'm not, not kidding on that one. I'll give that a miss, thank you. And, uh, yes, this is the warp core. This looks quite cool, doesn't it? Oh, I wonder if this lift works. Mm, no. Thought it would do, but no, it doesn't. Right, so let's go have a talk to this engineering person here. Hello there, engineering person. What do you do? Engineering officer. Assemble ship repair components. Assemble ship battery. Assemble ship battery. Assemble engine battery. Oh, there we go. Again. Oh, right, there we go. Right, well, carry on. Carry on. You're doing a sterling job there. Sterling, carry on. What's around here, I wonder? Ooh, a secret compartment. Oh. No, we can go around there, but never mind. Right. Well, carry on. Let's head back to the uh, bridge. Right, here we are back on the bridge. Let's go find number one. Hello there, number one. How's things been? You, you, you've had to phase a Mr. Potato Head. Oh, excellent. How many times? Three times. Wow. Right. Well, I think... Uh, Yes, might might have to use two people to phase him in future if he carries on like that. He uh, he hasn't caused any war with the Romulan Star Empire yet, has he? He hasn't. Excellent. But he has been in negotiations with the Breen. Right, I think we'll have to sort this out, won't we, one way or another? 
Right, carry on, number one, carry on. Right. Okay, so uh, you've had a quick look around this uh, bridge. Uh, so you know what you're actually getting for your money if you decide to purchase it. Um, so let's take the ship into battle, shall we? So you can see uh, what you can do. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and sort out how we can make peace with the Klingons. So here we are. We haven't done a Japori run for some time. So let's see how she performs, shall we? little show I really enjoyed that um, I did the emergency source of separation for you a few times but to be honest with you I don't think I get much from it um, yeah I did notice that the uh, battle section of the ship did perform a little bit better uh, without the saucer but yeah I, I, I liked the saucer being attached to it to be honest with you but uh, anyway it's up to you um, I just wanted to demonstrate that it could come off in mid-battle and do its thing and fly around. I didn't see it doing much, to be honest with you, but uh, I was uh, busy doing other things at the time. But, yeah, let's have another quick look at this ship, shall we, before we go. Yeah, I really, really do like this ship. It's definitely going to feature quite a lot in my fleet. So this is the Legendary Command Exploration Cruiser. Uh, I have it as a T6X. And it's available from the 10th anniversary 
uh, Star Trek Online bundle. Um, and I have to say, I do think the 10th anniversary is one of the uh, better anniversary packs out of the ones that have so far uh, been offered. Well, before we go, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, review. It's been a bit of a long one, hasn't it? Uh, but don't forget, if you want to catch further reviews, please hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, yeah, give us a like as well, because that, uh, that makes our day. And uh, talking of days, I'll leave you to the rest of yours, shall I? So until next time, this is Jester. Signing off. I sincerely hope this is the last time that I find myself here. Then die in ignorance. I can waste no more time on you. To fly apart, fly apart then. I don't want to talk about it. Get it done. If you were the man, I would kill you where you stand.